a good Wednesday to you all. I hope you're having a spiffing time whereabouts you are. And today I'm going to bring you some little brutal action, some brutal action on the chessboard, of course. I'm sure you don't want me to do any brutal action anywhere else. That would just be weird. The first example is Nimzovic versus Capablanca. And this was an example of two rooks on the seventh rank, which Nimzovic even talked about. And in this case, he's on the receiving end of that display of power. And after bishop g3, can you spot what black should now play? Because it looks like white is maybe holding on to the position with his bishop defending, but that is a mere illusion. Rook takes h2, and this is a very imaginative and great finish. Bishop takes h2, the queen now gains tempo and time. The course talks about the importance of timing with your attacks and how you can work out whether it's the right time to attack, the wrong time to attack, what you should do, how you save time, how you build up your attack, everything I can blooming well think of. And after now, king to h1, otherwise the bishop drops, we have here queen to h3. And white is mated because he cannot defend two focal points. We talk about this a bit more, g2 and h2. And these are the kind of things we discuss, how you take advantage of such things as focal points. Now, this wasn't the actual game. Um, we are now uh, going to move on to another Capablanca versus Nimzovic game. I'm afraid today it's spanky spanky Nimzovic day. And in this position, how does White brutally force his way through this position? And this one reminds me of a very famous game, Bobby Fischer versus Benko. If you can remember that game, you're doing fantastically well. Knight on F to G5 and the focal point here. So this is the square you've got to look out for when attacking and focus all your energy on. And that will help you become a better attacking player is H7. After pawn takes this one, knight to F6, a beautiful move like Bobby's rook F6 move. Can you remember that one? Only one way to stop checkmate, bishop takes, but now the bishop slides into E4 and black can't play F5, so checkmate is coming up next. Very naughty man, that Capablanca. Now, now we go on to Mr. Unpronounceable versus nearly someone else unpronounceable with my dyslexia. Bogo versus Pri. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Um, and this one is a very nice example. And what does white now play to get into a winning attack? Again, you're looking at brutal ways to open up the position. Rook takes h5. This has to be taken. And what is the point behind this? Rook takes d7. And this is a case of eliminating key defenders. You have to work out what your opponent's key defenders are and try to remove them from the board in this way, in a very brutal way. Queen takes d7, now runs into check and check. And here, bishop takes e5 with mate to follow. Back to Alakine for the last example of the day. And after g6 here, what should white play? Well, queen h5 is a very nice start, looking for h6. And after king h7 comes the really special move. Can you see it? Surely you don't want to move that queen away. When we're attacking, we should always look at using the most of energy we can. And a little rule I have is I always look at my most aggressively placed pieces first. So queen, rook. If I can't do anything with them, I look at bringing in reinforcements, something I talk about in detail. In the actual video course, I don't just talk about Vladimir's ideas, but modern grandmaster techniques of attack as well. And knight g4 is a beautiful move in this position. Point being, we bring in the reinforcements and after knight to f6 check, we have one of the oldest checkmates ever recorded, the so-called Arabian checkmate which is where the knight defends the rook. And thank you, Alakine, for that nice display of power. Every battle is won by preparation. 
We've taken one of the most popular chess books ever written and rewired it for the modern player, The Art of Attack. Learn with Chessable's state-of-the-art move trainer technology presented by myself, Grandmaster Simon Williams. I'll talk you through 29 hours worth of educational video content. From attacking the uncastled king, bishop sacrifices, diagonal attacks, and classic pawn storms. Paint your opponent's king into a corner with the art of attacking.